Welcome to Dikidoku, the channel which tells you all about games which let you contribute to science, especially to the wonderful world of quantum mechanics. Today we're looking at the game Quantum Cats, which comes from the University of Waterloo in Canada. Uh, this is an institute where they do research on quantum computation and they have made this game for us to teach us a little something about quantum mechanics. So let's start with the first uh, level which is called classical. So classical is the word that we quantum people use to mean boring, normal, non-quantum stuff. So this should just be basically a cat which obeys all the normal laws of physics. See it goes in a trajectory Oh, there it just disappeared into nothingness. That's not a law of physics that things typically obey, but there you go. Now we are firing this um, in a very Angry Birds type way. And the object of the game seems to be to break open these boxes and rescue the kittens inside. Now it's quite amazing that the kittens survive the kind of things that they go through here. In Angry Birds, of course, the whole object is to kill a pig, so that makes sense. But here, we're not killing pigs, we're, we're saving very um, sturdy kittens. I suppose they, they do have nine lives, so that will help them here. Anyway, this is classical, so I've not been saying much about quantum, because there isn't any quantum in that level. So, let us now go on to this level. We have... A superposition cat shoots three cats but only one can impact the world so we shoot it and now we have to make a choice let's choose that one there and that one goes on to be the one that exists now you might know about uh, Schrodinger's cat so this is a cat which uh, is in a box with a quantum particle that quantum particle is both one thing and another at the same time in some quantum way and then the cat interacts with the um, particle such that if the particle is doing one thing the cat dies and if it does another thing the cat survives. So then the cat like the quantum particle is now in a state of being both dead and alive at the same time until you open it up look in the box and see what's happening. But then you could also say that you interact with the cat so then you are also part of this superposition you're both there crying at a dead cat and jubilating at an alive cat at the same time in some quantum way until someone opens the lab door and observes you but then you could also say that they are also in this superposition and where you draw the line depends entirely on what um, interpretation of quantum mechanics you prefer so in this case uh, what the cat Instead of having the cat either alive or dead in a box, this box is in one of three different places. Now, usually, so these are like three different universes in which the cat, uh, in one universe is at the top, and one universe is in the middle, and one universe is at the bottom, and we get to choose which universe we want to see. Uh, this is not something we usually get to do in real life, but in this case, we get to choose. I want to be in the universe where. The top one is going to go on and smash those things. Where's the kittens? The girl? Oh, there's some kittens on the floor there. And now I want to see the universe in which the bottom one rescues those kittens. So we can't usually do this. We call this technically post-selection. We can't usually actually post-select in our everyday lives. We can't choose which universe we go into. Um, but we can in this game. So let's go on to the next level. Uh, in this level we have a cat which obeys quantum tunneling so it will pass through the first object it hits so through that wall into that glass wonderful stuff these sturdy kittens are getting saved now let's just fire that somewhere now it goes in smashes that glass excellent stuff except that the kittens aren't rescued that's a bit of a shame so we carry on. That didn't do anything. I used to be very good at Angry Birds, but then I stopped playing Angry Birds, and it's not the kind of skill I think that uh, the brain tries to hold on to. Anyway, we get the idea of that. Let's move on to the next level. Oh, lasers! There's also 
I think, somewhere. Oh yeah, a canister of liquid helium. Excellent stuff. Now this is a uncertainty cat, so you never quite know where it is. This is something we get in quantum mechanics. We never quite know... I should have actually done something there. We never quite know where a particle is or how fast it is going. There's a limit to how much we can know anything given by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. And this cat has its h-bar uh, set to a much higher value. Or is it lower value? No, higher value. So its uncertainty is visible on the macroscopic scale. Its quantumness is evident. Now you see that it will just act kind of like a normal cat in most circumstances. But if we tap it, then, well, in that case, nothing happens because I tapped it too late. But let's try it again. If we tap it, then it will randomly do something. Or it might ran look around and think of something to go for. That In that instance, there was just one thing that it might have chosen, so it just chose that. So, not a very good example, but here it's randomly choosing between a few things. And goes for it, and then those kittens hopefully will be freed. Excellent stuff! Uh, I don't think I'm going to win on this one because I have used too many cats doing nonsense. Anyway, we can go to the next level, and what we will find in the next level is you get to use uh, a few of these different things. Oh, there's a great way to do this level actually. Making the lasers come on. Oh, I did it anyway even without thinking about it. So there you go. This is Quantum Cats. It's basically a version of Angry Birds which has some quantum aspect to it. So if you like Angry Birds, then give it a download. And the more downloads they get, the more they can tell their funding agencies how great they are and how they should get more money. So download this and a few of your tax dollars will be converted from tax dollars that might have gone towards weapons or war or something spying on people you know something that you might not agree with and instead it will go on quantum mechanics instead which you can't deny is awesome or maybe you can deny it but in that case you probably wouldn't have started watching this video anyway anyway this has been me dr james wooten of the university of basel for the dikadoku project thank you for watching <laughs>